Okay, so here we are, and this is uh, going to be a quick uh, unboxing to see what we've got in this magic package. So this is from uh, Judy Cube, who's on AliExpress. Um, they have a separate website, but they actually seem to show more stock on the uh, AliExpress site, so that's why I ordered there. It was very quick, it um, came in about six days or something, which was uh, uh, tremendous. So let me just try and cut it. So these are just, uh, if you like, a couple of stocking pillars. I just got them because they're so cheap. I just want to see what they are like. Um, that is a ball core OS3M Super. Um, I got that because I've got the um, just the maglev version of the OS3M, but I wanted to um, I wanted to see what the ball core is like because the ball core version of the YS3M is just t totally amazing. I mean, it's my favourite cube, I think, at the moment. Uh, and so I just wanted to get this one for the, uh, if you like, the previous one too. Well, because obviously it's RS3M, then Super RS3M, then YS3M, uh, and then WRM V9. Talking of which... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a pretty impressive box. So uh, I think the camera's catching that. That is shiny, shiny, shiny. Um, yeah, so that is the WRMV9, uh, and this is the ball core one, and it's even got the uh, UV coating. So this is something really special. I mean, Moyu, just amazing. Uh, the other thing on the package here is a GAN I three which is a smart cube now I've got the monster go mg3 AI and uh, it's been great the only thing is it's a little bit kind of stiff and it doesn't matter how much you lube it in things it doesn't feel great like some of these cubes do so um, I've got this in the hopes that it will be a much more sort of natural f uh, usage cube compared to those um, so I'll come to that in a while um, I think I'll start with the low end of the pile, so we'll just have a quick look at these ones. Um, so these were two pound. Well, they were listed at two pound thirty, but I think once you added the tax and VAT, it was something like two pound eighty. But I just wanted to see what a two pound eighty cube felt like. Oh, actually, do you know that is not bad at all. I mean, there's there's clearly no magnet alignment. But even so, it's got quite a nice sort of smooth feel. So this is the, uh, I even forgot what it is. Well, I'm going to have to get out um, Google Goggles to actually translate that. Um, it's the 3C anyway. Um, so let's see. Yeah, it, oh, I love the colour scheme as well. That's, uh, yeah, that's quite an interesting cube. So um, come to that in a while. Well, there's also this one, which is it's the same cube. I'm sorry about that lip in the box, but I'm never going to use it. Um, of course, you don't get any accessories with these. Um, oh, yeah, that's rather interesting looking. Yeah, that feels really nice. That actually is really loose. I mean, you can tell it's kind of all over the place, but that that is a really nice feeling cube. Yeah. Um, well, I think uh, that's going to be a bit of fun as well. Okay, so this is the ball core version of the Super OS 3M. It's quite um, scratchy to start off with. Oh, but it's nice. Yeah. Well, it's nice and loose for slices. Yeah, that works well. Yeah, 
this, this looks like it could be a lot of fun. Um, doesn't you couldn't tell it's a ball core to be honest. Um, yeah, there's virtually no magnet strand there, or just a fraction. Um, Mm. Yeah, I'll have to work on that a bit. I think it needs some more magnets put into it. Oops. Okay, so this is just an update with the um, Super RS 3M ball core um, a few days later after I've done various things to it. So um, you can see it's the inside there is the gold ball core. Um, one thing I've done is to replace the uh, tensioners with the purple tensioners have been replaced with blue ones. I, I got sets kits of upgrade for um, blue tensioners from the cubicle and that allows it to be far looser. In fact that loose. You can see that's a pretty loose cube but now it's lovely and fluid. Um, <laughs> he said not being totally fluid, but let's try that again. And also it is it's pretty good like this actually to be honest. Um I I can't get the pieces out, I need to unscrew a cap, but um I'm pretty sure I've put upgrade magnets in into the uh, both the edges, it will be four by twos in the edges and uh, three by ones into the corners, and that gives it much more magnetic. Um, it's yeah, it's not that strong in magnetic actually, um, but it does hold position well. I mean, it's it's stopping at each position there, um, so when you do that. It just parks in the right position, and equally when you do that, um, it just goes to the right place, which is kind of what you want in a cube. So this Super RS 3M ball core is very nice uh, cube as well. Okay, so um, next up I thought I'd have a quick look at this. This is the GAN i3. Um, let's just look. <laughs> so much for the knife. <clears throat> as it slides so it's probably going to need to be sat on the charger first. Um, oh wow, <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, it, oh it is charged, um, oh in which case this thing to start up. Um, decompressing file, wonder what it really is up to. I mean why can't it keep that file undecompressed but anyway. Um, oops, don't want that. Want that. Uh, oh, no that was it. So we'll connect to that. If I turn it, let's go for the there and turn that. Why is it? It's it's Charo. Oh, 
It's not. Why is it doing that? It's behaving like the gyro is rotating when it isn't. Okay, so this is a catch-up video recorded a few days later. I'd forgotten to come back to actually record this um, because, as you saw, the cube was doing that slow rotation thing, but that just seemed to be an early calibration, and um, then it settled down, and it has never done that since. So I think it was just sort of finding its feet or something. So now um, this, if I just go to the device thing here, if I just turn the cube, you can see the flashing light in there shows it's kind of activated. If I search for it, the app finds it and then just connect. Um, now, this little diagram here is fairly important. If you look at the way I'm holding this cube at the moment, I've effectively got white on top, green is facing me. I, I'm slightly off to the side of the camera, but trust me, it, it, green's facing me. Yet yeah, that picture would show red is facing me almost. And so if I rotate it, it's just not, that picture is not really showing me a true picture of how I'm holding this cube in space. So it's actually draggable. Now there is a little message comes up when you first connect that says, now you've got to drag this picture. But if you miss that, and I did first time, I couldn't work out how to get the faces that are facing towards me to show in the image. So what you do is you actually drag <laughs> Come on, lads. Uh, you actually drag this round. Here we are. Come on, round a bit. So I'm going to tilt it that way. Just back a bit that way. Right, there we are. Right, so that now reflects kind of what I'm holding in space. So I've got green here, white on top, orange over here, red here. And if I turn it upside down, say, then yellow's on top, blue here, orange here, red here, and so on. So I can turn it any old way. And when I stop, let's stop on orange with blue in front and yellow just off the side here. So now this is following exactly where it is in space. Um, so then I can just X on this. If I go to training and timer, this is the, the bit that I tend to use most here. Um, so it's um, starting f with fully scramble. So w when I um, hit scramble here or just do U, U prime, which does the same thing as selecting that button, um, it will then give me a, a sequence to get it fully scrambled. And the solution is for PLL and the cube fully solved. So, uh, well, let's just do that. So do U prime. So saying D prime, F prime. Oh, hold on, I'm holding it wrong. It should be like that. L, right, now we're in business. So F, hold on, it's still wrong. It should be round that way. So um, F D prime F two U prime F prime R two B two D L two prime U two F U prime R prime U R two D prime and L prime two. And now I've got, well, it's, it's given me more than 15 seconds to observe. I'm not really observing, so there's blue, uh, there's, oh, there's red and orange. So um, they are going to, well, I'm going to start, so I'll just turn those straight on. And uh, green goes over there, and blue goes around to here. And then just fix the cross. So I've got my white cross done. Um, so now I just want to start inserting pairs, find a blue, red. Uh, there's the other half of it, so I uh, want to put that on to red, it's opposite, so that goes into there, so that's the first insertion done, uh, green, red, to green, so stick that onto the red, put that around to the back, join that up to make the pair, bring it round, and it's going to go into this slot here, like that, blue and orange are next to each other, so they need to split, um, I've now got 
just white and orange so that needs to go onto green to the back bring it on top that's formed the pair it's going to go into this platoon here like that and then blue and orange is where's the there it is sorry so that just needs to come around to blue matches it there this turns around to be on top that has now formed the pair um, so that can come back up and go into that slot there and the two layers done um, so I want to get that's in the right place that's right oh that's right and that's right so I can actually just I'm going to do it the old fashioned way and um, just do that and that and so we're there um, red needs to go that way so just do that there we are solved <laughs> 1 minute 43 <laughs> but anyway um, yeah so that is basically the GAN i3 cube and as you can see it's a major uh, score over the wants to go at MG3 at AI which is the one I had previously because of this gyro and it knowing which way the cube is facing at all times um, yeah so I'll stop there Okay, and here is the pièce de résistance. This should be the best one here, I think. That is just amazing. They're shining the cement bolts. Um, yeah, I think you can catch that. Let's have a look. Oh, what we got? Ah, it's the classic Moyu intelligence test. So it's a there we are. And I passed, thank God. And so let's see. Oh, I can't get that to work. Oh, bloody. <laughs> I'm loving it already. I can see the shininess of the UV coating here. And I can't get past the plastic. doesn't all at home as much as my modified YS3M though, it's still got a way to go, but look at the shininess of that cube. Yes, that's, uh, that feels like a lot of fun. Yeah, it is a bit scratchy, I have to say, um, so it obviously needs to be worn in or a bit of lube or something, um, but uh, yeah. That has certainly got possibilities. So this is yet another small update several days later after the unboxing. And um, this is the WRM V9 again. It is just unbelievable. It's, um, it's such a wonderful cube to use. Um, and it's so fluid in operation. I mean, yeah, I, I can't praise this cube highly enough. This, without a shadow of a doubt, and I've got things like Tornadoes and all the YS3Ms and things, um, but this is a cube in a different league for me. I mean, I, I just love the feel of it. Um, it is so sort of open and fluid and su such a pleasure to use. I love the shiny outside. I haven't done anything. Um, did I change the tensions? I don't think I did. Um, no, I think, well, it's on the loosest setting. Um, I might have just loosened the screws a fraction, but um, I think it's pretty much stock, and yet it feels so sort of, it, it's like it flows in your hand. So I couldn't recommend this cube highly enough. Um, if if I had all my time again, I, I would just not bother buying any other cube. I'd just buy this. In fact, I'd buy several of them just in case one got broken. Um, it's that good. So there we are.